Hi there, it's Ben Housel here. And here we're gonna have a look at how we add scrolling title credits. So we've got a still image on our timeline here. And one of the reasons I put an image in the background is just so we can have a look at how we can adjust the color for our image so that the titles can scroll clearly over the top. So we're gonna be dealing with a little bit of color correction so that these highlight areas of white don't interfere with the titles as they scroll. So let's go ahead and grab the scrolling titles and then talk through a few tips and tricks here. So to find your titles and text generators and other generators, you need to come up to the top left of your screen here and we'll click on the show or hide titles and generators sidebar. And what you'll see here is either a collapsed list of all the different titles and generators that you have, or you'll see an opened up list which kind of shows you a list of the different types of titles and generators that you can use. So we're gonna jump into the credits, which is where we're looking for our scrolling credit roll, and we'll drag this down to the timeline. So once we place this on the timeline, we have scrolling credits that appear on screen and with the title generator highlighted, we can come up to the inspector on the top right and adjust a few of the settings for this. So I'm just gonna move into the timeline a little bit so I can see the credit roll partway through. So as you can see here, um, we have a few things. We have the title of our production and we have then the name and description of the different roles or different actors that you might have in your scrolling credit roll. So up in the inspector, and if you don't see the inspector, just go to window, show in workspace and inspector or command and four. And once you've got that up, you can see we've got a few different options. So we've got an option to reduce flicker. We've got an option to show the text inspector, which is where we can modify and change our title. So if we type in here, we can type in our film name and we can also type in the names of the different actors here. Now, if you're typing things in manually, you just wanna make sure that you keep the spacing that is there. So if we type in my name, and then my role. And you can see the alignment of the scrolling credit roll is relying on these spaces that we have here between those two words. So we essentially have a tab space between the end of my name here and the title director. And the same at the beginning, we have a tab between these two, which is why when we click left and right, it moves across that bigger space in one go. Now, what this means is that if we wanted to import a lot of text into our scrolling credits, then we can use a spreadsheet to do that because when you copy and paste from a spreadsheet, it actually contains a tab within it. So it's a really nice kind of quick way of organizing things and um, partly because you can organize things alphabetically within a spreadsheet. And so I've got a spreadsheet up here with a list of actors' names from the film Ariel, which is by a Finnish director. And with this spreadsheet, so we're using Google Sheets here, but you could use Microsoft Excel. Um, the copy and paste functionality will be essentially the same. If we select these names and then go to Edit and Copy or Command and C, then we can come back to Final Cut Pro. And now what you wanna keep an eye on when you paste in here is that there's a little bit of difference in the alignment of the different sections of this credit roll. So the name or the film name that I've got up here is aligned centrally and then the credit roll um, is aligned to the left. And it's using the tabs to actually space that out. So what I wanna do here is, when I'm pasting in my tab list, is select all of this and make sure that I'm not catching any of the beginning um, of the text that's there by default in Final Cut Pro. So then if I do edit and paste or Command and V, you'll see we get the actor's names um, within that same format you can see it's kind of a mess here up in the text inspector but it looks nice and neat in our edit here so if we scroll up we can type in the actual name of this film which is ariel and you can see and it's not a surf movie i've kind of got a mishmash of images um here but it's kind of serving the purpose now one thing about the scrolling credit roll is that the speed of it is defined by the duration of it so now i've got a lot of actors names in there so when i play this back it's gonna move by quite quickly. So in order to slow this down, and I can see here, I've got a slightly longer name that I need to fix. So we can select individual lines of our scrolling credit roll and just adjust the size. And because there's a tab separation between these two words, we're not gonna lose the formatting. And in fact, we'll set all of our names. I'm gonna type in 46 in here for the font size just to keep everything nice and regular. So I typed in 46 then hit tab to move out of that 
and it's set nicely now. So you can see here that this is playing back maybe a little bit too quickly. So in order to slow that down, all I do is go to my out point here and stretch this out and you'll see that it actually slows down the credit. So depending on the number of credits you've got in your credit roll, you obviously just need to extend or shorten the length of that clip. We don't need to uh, retime it or change the speed of it. It's all defined by the, the length of the clip. And you can see we have some other basic options down here for the tracking of our type. So we can change the tracking, so the space between the type and all the basic kind of type editing tools. So things like the line spacing um, we have as well and options like all caps. So any text editing tools that you need are included in here. Now I want to move on to looking at the background image. So what we want to do here is make this background image interfere a little less with the, the titles that are appearing on screen. So basically we want to adjust the color a little bit to drop that image back and kind of increase the contrast between the text and the background image. So I'm going to do that using the color correction for this layer. Now this will work on video or um, as I've got here on an image. So I'm going to select my clip and then come up to the middle here just below my viewer and we're going to bring up the color board. So command and six to show the color board. And essentially what we want to do is work on the exposure and maybe the saturation a little bit. So for the exposure, I want to lift up the blacks so they're not quite as dark. I want to drop down the mid tones and then drop down the whites. And you can see we kind of mute that image there and the text starts to pop out nicely so that we can see it more clearly. So if we play this back now, in fact, we'll just pause a second and let it render. So let's play this back. So our titles are still moving a little bit quickly, but we can fix that by extending out the scrolling title text generator a little bit more. But for this demonstration, you can see how it works. So that's a quick overview of how to add scrolling titles. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10, then leave a message below. And don't forget to hit subscribe. I also have a brand new course on Skillshare that is a full introduction to Final Cut Pro. And I'll leave a link for that below. And thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next tutorial.